Welcome back to Sumster Games, the place to find new strategy games and today we're going to play Desktop Dungeons Rewind. Now this is a roguelike but it is not a deck builder. Now this is a demo uh, that was part of the Steam Game Demo Festival and there are a couple different things you can do here. So I've already played the tutorial and the tutorial unlocks different things. For example, I've in, as part of the tutorial I've unlocked a neighborhood which gives me the human uh, race that I can have. And then, for example, this unlocks a bunch of clubhouse and it unlocks some classes that I can actually use because then you could upgrade it later, but it's currently not in the demo where you might be able to get more class and etc. So as you do different things, it will unlock different area. Here you can find which trophies you already got uh, as you killed the monster. So in the tutorial, I killed the biggest, baddest monster that is that actually killed me first. Now, I'm going to tell you what that monster is at the end of this video to make it a bit more interesting now there are multiple areas to which we can go to actually fight so here in the tower foundation we got some more uh classes and then we could either jump here to this bad lands and we have to fight gabard the whoa or we could go here to thousand cuts and fight sir digby or we can go to winces vault and fight wins the invincible. I think we're gonna go here fight Mr. Bigby. The cave of thousand cuts received its name from the dreaded monster lord which resides there. Not particularly vicious, his endurance makes him difficult to kill outright. Let's go. So we only have one class as I said, uh, sorry one race so or kin we have humans. Uh, humans get 10% attack bonus for every 100 conversion points. And then as a class, we can be a fighter or a priest. So fighter can you can sense nearby enemies in the fog and gauge their level. This is actually, this is what you have, I guess, in the test game where you can tell the enemy level. And the tutorial, by the way, is really funny. I quite enjoyed it. Veteran, gain XP when attacked by higher level enemies and Lexus to be needed per level. And dungeon rounds start with one level of standard death protection on the character. Or we can be a priest. We have good health, extra health, good drinks. Health potions are better and good golly. Physical damage against other gets 100%. So obviously we're gonna be a priest. Let's go. I wanna be a priest. So this game works in quite interesting way. You have your health. This is your like mana. And down here is your experience. And this is your uh, attack. And then down here you have your potions and the number of coins that we have and etc. And then here, this is sort of like a conversion. So essentially you can convert items into uh, energy that will then give you different bonuses. So this is telling us what we know about human priest. That's fine. Dungeon hint writer skills memo one. When fighting monsters, pay attention to your and the Oh, okay. So this is just the same thing as Centurial. Okay. So here we can pick up our first item. This uncovers three random dungeon tiles with normal regeneration benefits, or we can immediately convert it to get extra energy. I'm gonna pick it up, I guess. Not sure if it's actually useful, but that's okay. Every time you explore a new tile in this dungeon, you will heal and gain this energy if it's needed. So places with an enemy dead, I think this actually could be useful. I actually am going to convert this. And it will give me a bonus. I get a bonus to attack 10% because I converted this. Okay, we gotta find some enemies. So this is a power up, uh, so it has short term benefits, so this is going to give us a little bit of extra health, and now this is our first fight. We have attack of 5, the enemy has health of 9, and when we attack it's going to hit me for 3, which you can see over here, this my thing went from 4 to 11. I will kill it because I get as a bonus, I have the good golly against undead, so I can actually straight up drop it. So that's how combat works. And as I'm exploring new parts of the dungeon, I am actually healing. I'm gonna pick this up as well, but I probably don't need it. Not yet, at least. Okay, so there's nothing here, so let's keep moving. Uh, this is a mana potion and a health potion. I don't think we want either of these yet, so we can just walk around. So the, here we're fighting a goblin, so which is hitting me for eight. So that's pretty tough, but I am gonna hit it anyways. Now, if I try to hit it again, I will die. So instead, I'm going to grab a health potion and heal myself. And I can hit it again. Won't quite be able to drop it, though. Uh, we'll pick up the health potion now. We'll drink it. 
and will attack it one more time which allows to kill it. Now this allowed me to level up so now my attack is actually 11. Oh here we've got another thing. Burn your enemies for 4 points of magical damage per character. This is pretty amazing. Uh, I want to keep exploring the dungeon deal. Oh this is interesting. So this guy only hits me for 1, a meat man. But I hit him for 11 so let's just hit him. I mean it's not exactly a problem. This is an easy enemy to handle. This gives me extra energy, so I guess we'll do it. Ooh, this guy hits for 12. Ooh, and this guy hits for 7. Interesting. We get the same XP for each, so we're better against this zombie because it's undead and we can drop it. I can insta-drop it, so I'm gonna do that. And now there are no more health potions, so I can just kind of walk around so we can exploring I guess. Let's just insta-kill this. And I need to heal myself. Casting fireball means a free attack. Yeah, we can use a fireball soon. Actually, that's a good point. Let's use a fireball on, on this one. I could do it again. Drop it down to 22. I'll get hit twice. Well, actually, I could just grab these potions, right? Because I have a mana potion. So I can just grab all of these. The potions stack in your hand? Uh, not everything stacks. Oh, we can actually convert one of these so that we get another, we get 20% bonus this time because we don't, we don't need it twice. Oh, wow, nemesis. That is as though you discovered my base of operation. I cannot suffer your presence and allow you to live. Regards, Sir Digby the Goat, who is totally a boss character. I'm not afraid. Alright, so he attacks for 20 with 150 HP. That's a lot. That's like lots, lots. Let's kill this one. I'm, still, I'm actually gonna fall back to kill this guy because uh, one thing to watch out for is though is that enemies do heal to a certain extent as well if they have that ability so you don't like hitting them and completely leaving is not gonna work as well as you think it will so to speak i can just drop this person so i'm essentially what i'm trying to do right now is i'm trying to level myself up to level four if i could and cover three random dun dungeon tiles that's not really exciting yeah we're just gonna convert a lot of these things that we're not using anyways just to get the bonus. So now we get 70% bonus for our attack. And we are now level 3. Okay, so this will hit me hard. But I think that's okay. We dropped it. Ooh, this guy's really strong. This guy would kill me. So let's just keep moving. Hmm. Now we could heal over here just by exploring. Let me let me throw some fire on the goat. I could hit the goat once. It's probably not gonna heal that much. Sunless does 40% of my HP, so I think we can just do it immediately. We'll try this one more time. Now, I can't kill it right now, so I have to walk away to heal. Which is a bit ineffective. Okay, let's go back. Use the burning. And you can see it, it, it increased its in health a little bit. went from 82 to 90, but it wasn't too bad. And let me burn it one more time. Okay, I can kill it. Kill the boss! Mr. Digby. So if I grab the trophy, it will make me leave now. As you saw, Mr. Digby was a goat. And goat actually is the hardest enemy in this game. Now, we could go deeper into the dungeon. We actually don't really need to because we managed to kill the enemy on this, on this turn. If you straight up grab the goat, then uh, the goat horn, you will essentially leave this... Um, this dungeon because you finished uh you finished the area so if we just go here and we'll just exit we've we finished the stats and we gain uh we gain the 
I guess we gained the bonus from killing killing this thing. We earned 185 gold and we can go back to our little village. And we sold the goat horn for 150 gold. So we gained that. Now we could move. Obviously you can see that the area that was here is not here anymore. And we can upgrade something. So I could upgrade this tower foundation. The peace of the kingdom has been staked out by a group of mystics with arcane geographic properties and whatnot. The proud tradition of wizards everywhere. They haven't actually done anything with it yet. <laughs> well, we're gonna do something because I want to know what blood mages do. So if we were to jump, let's say, to a new mission here, fight wins the invincible, we could now be... Oh, it only gives me one because it's at three, but apparently it's, here it's only one. So a wizard. Can see location. Oh, I guess it was like each upgrade gives you a new class. I see. So we didn't get to the blood mage yet. I understand. Can see locations of all glyphs from level start. All glyphs are small items. Glyphs cost minus one mana and donate 10 conversion points to other conversions. Start with the Burnai Daras glyph. Faster burn stacking. Well, I actually think we're going to end the episode here, but I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, write down in the comments and you can click on the right or some other game that you play on this channel. See you there. Bye-bye!